<laughs> You're watching The Morning Show on CKWS. Seven twenty-one on a Wednesday, uh, Thursday morning, rather. Welcome back. Um, uh, the couches are full. We are going to introduce you to. We have Sarah Keys uh, right here from Loving Spoonful. We've seen you before on the show. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. And from LaSalle Secondary, her first year, we have uh, Dakota Oliver, and she is a graduate of JG Simcoe Public School, and uh, still there at JG Simcoe is a teacher. We have Jamie Nibala. Welcome, everyone. We're talking about the <coughs> instilling that love of gardens and growing uh, for students of young ages and there's a tie-in with Loving Spoonful. First of all, let's talk about the GROW program, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Explain what this is. <coughs> the GROW project is a gardening program that uh, first came to Simcoe about seven or eight years ago and uh, I've been lucky to be involved with it uh, right from the get-go. Um, it allows students to uh, experience gardening, to um, share their love of gardening, and, um, and to prepare the food then that, that we do grow at, at Simcoe. Uh, it also allows students an opportunity to give back to the community, um, to people that uh, maybe can't uh, grow their own food mm. or afford their own food uh, through Loving Spoonful. That's, uh, that's how you become involved, is in helping distribute. And 23 schools are participating in this. Um, not right now. We actually run yeah, the whole program, so we go in and do the programming with the schools. And um, right now there's seven schools, but we're expanding to, to 23. To 23. To in 2020, we'll have 20, 23 schools, so we'll be that reaching thousands <coughs> of students. That is amazing. Yeah. Uh, the students benefit and also the community benefits as well. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the students benefit, you know, by growing their own food, learning how to prepare it. Uh, we actually bring <coughs> farmers in from the community and get them to uh, teach them about local farming. Um, we have we teach them about bigger system food system issues, so like food security and food systems and what food culture is. And um, yeah, they're getting to grow a whole garden for themselves and for the community. And it's yeah, it's a really great program. Why is it important for you? You've done this. You've done this. You have experience with the gardens yeah. and the growing. And now you're at LaSalle. Uh, how did it make you feel to be in the garden? Well, it made me feel really good because it was helping the community and everybody else in the school. And knowing that I could give happiness to others and make sure that people are being fed makes me feel really great because it's all healthy, it's natural, and you know there's no pesticides or anything. Mm. Did you have a love of gardening before this or this was instilled mm. during the program? Mostly during the program. I didn't really like gardening before, but <laughs> as soon as I got into the program, I really started enjoying it. Do you see that, Jamie, with a lot of students? Oh, that, you know, they're not into it. Maybe there's no garden at their home. No, absolutely. And uh, what's interesting, and Dakota and I have spoken about this uh, recently, in fact, that um, when students get involved in, in the gardens, they begin to realize that uh, you know, this is something they can do at home. And, and they go home and they speak to their parents and they, they plant small gardens at their own homes. And Dakota's been doing that now ever since she got involved. And I hear that right across the board and students just can't wait to to get involved well hats off to the limestone district <coughs> school board for for this program you know just one of many unique programs to the school board i love that absolutely yeah um and <coughs> I love the pictures that we saw because there are students eating salads with big smiles on their face. <laughs> Absolutely. Who would have thought? Well, that's what we, we <coughs> see, right? When kids g grow greens, they eat their greens, right? They're growing kale, they're growing tomatoes, they're growing all these things where, you know, you go into a classroom once in a while and they're like, no, I hate vegetables. And by the end of the spring, when they've <laughs> grown all these things, they're like, oh, it tastes so good because it does, right? So and it's healthy and it's nutritious. And, Absolutely. Uh, so what is happening September 28th today? Uh, or next week, sorry. Next week, yeah. So we are putting on a, a an event called School Gardens Grow. So it's a celebration of um, a big Ontario Trillium Foundation grant that we just received. Um, and that's going to allow us to expand to the 23 schools by 2020. So um, it's going to be uh, the MPP Sophie Koala is going to be there. We're going to have the Director of Education, Deborah Rand, speaking. Jamie and Dakota will be there. It's really going to be a celebration of uh, this huge grant that we've just received. Um, and that's going to allow us to bring this program to 23 more schools. So um, we're really excited 
excited that everybody, uh, if everybody could come and uh, be part of this movement. We're really hoping that at the end of this, um, Kingston is a is a leader in school gardens. There's lots of things happening in other jurisdictions and and in the U.S. Uh, with school gardens, and we really hope that that continues here so yeah well Dakota I know one of the things you like is helping the community you said that but explain the feeling of taking that seed or maybe a little plant and at the end of the season there it is in your hand something that, that you can eat well it makes you feel really good because you know that you started out with just a little seed and you helped it grow with like nutrients compost and everything just to make sure that something grew and once you get to try what grew it usually tastes really good because you worked really hard on it that's awesome uh, we thank you so much and best of luck with the with the project and you. Uh, you know we benefit love and spoonful benefits we all do and the students benefit too uh, we thank you so much guys mm -hmm. thank you thank you we're gonna give you a little bit of a break uh, stay with us we'll see you shortly thereafter wishing you a great morning